the next guys that I want to bring on stage are the funniest comedians and the only comedians, ladies and gentlemen. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you guys ready? What are you doing here? Here, microphone, yango DJ. Give me some, eh? The next comedian. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, comedian cocktail, show your love for our finalists, stand up comedy. Wapiduru ya Blacky na Benja! Swaka. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. You know today I want you to ask yourself a question. Leo nataka ujiulize swali. Why are most rich people very skinny? Kwa nini matajiri wengi ni maskini? Lakini nenda kukujibu siku ya leo. Most of them have stress. Wengi wao wako na mawazo. Take for example in the corona period. Angalia kwa mfano msimu wa corona. Even the rich people were in masks. Hata matajiri walikuwa maskini. Another example is mfano mwingine ni Others are in illegal business. Wengine wako kwa biashara haramu. Take for example a lady friend of mine. Kwa mfano kuna mama rafiki yangu. She's known for loitering around with a gang of goats. Anajulikana kuranda randa na mbuzi gang. People also take her for a fool. Kwa sababu hii watu wengi wanamufuliza. And why do people take her for a fool? Kwa nini watu wanamufuliza? I am going to tell you why. Naenda kukuambia kwa nini? They do not know what kind of business she has. Hawajui yako na biashara ina gani. But today I'm going to tell you what kind of business she has. Lakini leo hii naenda kukuambia kwa na biashara ina gani. She has a poaching business ako na pochi la biashara hey hey pochi bila kishu ali pochi la biashara unajua kuna pochi aina nyingi eh hata warembo wamekuja hapa si kila mrembo mbeba pochi eh wewe mrembo akiuza hiyo pochi si ni pochi la biashara ama upate mwanaume kwa showroom anauza magari na mingi lakini ile hiyo siku anauza gari aina ya Porsche hiyo itakuwa ni pochi la biashara eh yeah. 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 ndugu rudi kwa hiyo story ya mama wa Porsche now that lady mm -hmm. that lady i decided to go and look if it was true niliamua kwenda kujua kama ni ukweli and i didn't go alone went to my girlfriend sikwenda peke yangu nilienda na mrembo wangu when i reached there i had two questions kufika pale nilikuwa na maswali mawili nikamuuliza i asked her mwanamke woman j wewe ni mwanamke mwizi are you truly a woman of steel Swali ya pili. The second question. Swali ya pili. The second question. Nikamuuliza. I asked her. Unafuata line gani ya kigaidi katika jamii hii? Which community guideline are you following? Na ukumbuke tulikuwa na my girlfriend. And remember I was with my girlfriend. After I asked her those questions, baada kumuuliza hiyo maswali, alikasirika sana na akanipiga kofi kando eh, kofi la shavu kando na mbele ya my girlfriend. She was very angry and she laughed she slapped my side cheek in front of my girlfriend. Hey. Aka 
akakasirika sana akanifukuza. She was very angry and she chased me. Na nikasikia uchungu sana. I felt pain. Hapo ndio nilipata uchungu wa kufukuzwa. That is when I found chest pain. And from that day from that day mm -hmm. from that day yeah. that is when i knew why many rich people are very skinny hapo ndo nilijua kwa nini matajiri wengi ni maskini thank you very much that was our time wabiduru ya blacky na benjo ladies and gentlemen i'm telling you it's getting hotter in here